you know, this video shows you right up into the moment, you know, what a cop is thinking about as they figure things out. It shows them using their deductive reasoning and their discretion. It's amazing. Right up into the end, after they blast the guy that they know is in the wrong house, and eventually, what, take the kids, even the kids, down to the station. You guys just sit tight. You know, it's just, man, it's horrifying. Terrible. The Farmington Police Department releasing all video in relation to a shooting involving three of its officers after they responded to the wrong house. I sorted through roughly 100 clips of video and body camera video that shows what unfolded that night and when investigators realized those officers went to the wrong home, killing the homeowner. <laughs> It's April 5th, around 11.30 at night, when three Farmington police officers are called to a domestic violence at 5308 Valley View. Listen, I need Not to know joking. where you are. Sir, I understand, but I don't know where you are. I need you to tell well, me. I don't know where the am either, obviously, because I just got beaten the sense out of me. Can you ask her the address? No, I'm not going to ask for the address because she doesn't want it given out. 5308 Valley View. A dash cameras, as well as body cams, capture officers driving to Valley View. Officer Dylan Goodluck making sure he's at the right place. Right now, but cameras capture him walking behind Officer Waylon Wasson, who walks up to a home on the right. That address, 5305 Valley View. Police department. No one comes to the door. It might have been 4308. Is it 43 or 5308? Yeah. Is this not 5308? That's what we said right there, right? That was 5305, isn't it? You can hear the officers ask dispatch to double check the address. They're totally wrong, girl. But they are at the wrong home and don't realize it. Seconds later. Hey, hey, him! Both officers Goodluck and Wasson, along with officer Daniel Estrada, shoot at Robert Dotson after he opens the door armed with a gun and points it at them. A dash cam video from the responding officers it captures the sound of gunfire. <laughs> all officers run back to find cover. We got you lucky and dead. All of us shot. They're on the other end. You good? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Other officers hear the shooting on the radio <laughs> and start responding to the scene. But before they arrive, <laughs> All three officers get into a second shooting. Bobby to police! This time with Dotson's wife, Kimberly, who you can hear screaming. <laughs> Investigators say at the time she did not know police were at her home. Eventually, backup arrives. You good, Dad? Uh? Yeah. Did he shoot at you guys or? Yeah. He shot at you guys? No, they didn't get it. Ma'am, come out to me! Come out with your hands up, open and empty! Miss! It's really important so we can get him help. Somebody glove up. Man, Come out here! You can see Mrs. Dotson in her robe walk down her driveway with her hands up. Sir, this is the police department! If you can hear me, you need to come out with your hands up open and empty! Folks, they know. Listen. They still have their weapons trained on her. They know she's innocent she now knows oh it's just the cops it's everything's cool everybody should de-escalate but not these cops watch this watch as they go through the house do it now i think he's done right inside the door then officers approach the home <laughs> making sure the children upstairs are making sure the children are okay check out the cop with his gun drawn going up upstairs in case you know i might have to shoot a kid if they pop out you know okay kids <laughs> This the, look, kids, police, kids, are you all right? This guy has his gun pointed up the stairs. This entire video should show you how completely knuckleheaded cops are. They really are. Police, look! Holy crap! Police. All this while Mrs. Dotson is in the back of a police car, distraught. She, along with her two kids, eventually take it to the police station. 
they're taken to the police station. Somebody's at the door, and he got out of bed, and you don't, you I can don't. hear gunshots and run down. And now she's going to that. I'm sorry, Faze. You know they've got her going. Listen, man, this is this could be bad for you. On the stairs, yeah. I grabbed the gun on the nightstand. He grabbed the one that was on the kitchen on the. You don't. Have, you don't have to talk. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I don't. I. I uh, you don't have to talk. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh man. You know, this is on camera, lady. I have nothing to hide. So your mom's here too. She's in another room for now. Um, but as soon as we can, we'll get her in here with you. <sighs> okay, kids. We've separated you from your parents after shooting. I mean, oh, Lord. I don't know. Mrs. Dotson telling officers she thought someone was trying to break into her home. Family members start showing up at the crime scene. There was a domestic violence incident tonight. A domestic violence? Yeah, um, between your mom and dad that we got called to. The man officers are talking to, so, the Dotson's other son. So domestic violence, they said somebody That's, was breaking in. That was the call, it was, it was a domestic violence call. Officers then start to realize something is not adding up. My main concern is what if... Oh, they're just now realizing something's not adding up after this melee has occurred. <sighs> Folks, you know what's adding up? That there's a million or two dollars worth of knuckleheads out there in the dark roaming around with guns in a neighborhood. That's some dangerous ass. That's dangerous. Yeah, this is getting weird. Yes. Oh, it's getting weird. We just shot a guy, and we shot at his wife, who thought she was being home invaded. He he he! It's getting weird. And then we held the kids at gunpoint. Are you kids okay? Kids, come out. <laughs> They walk to a home across the street. This is definitely 53. Right. Oh. They run the license plate of a car in the driveway. Let me know who the RO is. It comes back to a woman named Tori. So this is the RP. Yeah, this is the original. She's the woman who officers were dispatched to for the domestic violence call. Hey, Tori. Hey, I'm Sergeant LaMonica, Farmington Police. This is Officer Silver. Did you call? I called. It was her main argument. He sort of, like, just getting his stuff, and then he was heading out, and the next thing we just heard gunshots. Where was he, where was he at when... He was getting ready to head out the door. Her house, 5308 Valley View, is the third house on the left. The home you heard Officer Goodluck double-check before he gets out of his police car. The house officers responded to, 5305 Valley View, is the second house on the right. We do know New Mexico State Police is investigating the shooting, right? Oh... They're investigating the shooting. We know what that means. Oopsie! Knuckleheads.